Here we're going to look at drawing a network diagram from a map. So this is a house plan. It's the house plan given in the NESA topic guidance. And we want to draw a network diagram that illustrates which rooms connect to other rooms in terms of doorways. So doors are represented on this map by little lines coming out like this. So this door would shut into this gap. And we've also got some doors to outside that we should notice here and here. The first thing we need to do is to decide where the vertices need to go. So we're going to draw it straight onto the map and then we're going to take the picture away and see how we could simplify it. So here are all the vertices, one for each of those. And as we just mentioned, we need one for outside as well. So let's put one there for outside. And then we look at where the doorways are and which vertices connect to other vertices. So for example, the kitchen connects to the entrance and that's perhaps the route you might walk in between them. We've drawn it on as an edge. We can draw on the other ones there from the pantry, the laundry and the bathroom. We've also got it connected to the formal living, formal dining area. And from there through to the family room, but notice the family room does not connect through to the entrance. Let's put on where it connects to the outside. So the entrance connects to the outside through that door. The family room connects to the outside and also the formal living, formal dining room connects round to the outside. So if we then take the map away, we will need to note what the vertices were called before we can do that. Otherwise, we'll just have random vertices and we won't know what they're called. So let's represent them with a letter. So K for kitchen, P for pantry, etc. And now we can take the map away. And whilst the diagram that we've got here would be accurate, perhaps it's not quite as simple as we'd like. Perhaps it's a bit whirly, lines to all over the place, just doesn't look very neat. So we can neaten it up. We can move the E so that that makes those lines shorter. Remembering the idea that the whole network diagram is on rubber. We could perhaps move the D and the F and straighten those lines up. And we could make this big loop from D to O shorter. And we might even want to move D, O and F in a little bit closer as well. And that is a network diagram that represents the original map. And we can see that the entrance hall, the E, connects through to the kitchen, the pantry, the laundry, the bathroom. And suddenly we've got a simple representation of the original map. These are actually used by architects when they're designing houses or other buildings. And it's called a circulation graph because it shows how people can circulate around that particular building. One thing I'd like to point out is it's very advisable to always use a pencil. If we go back, we drew an original diagram and then we changed it and we moved E and we moved D and we moved F. And if you've done it in pen, that means you need to keep redrawing your diagrams, which can be a bit of a pain. So use pencil and you can just rub them out and rearrange them as you go.